we have the great Taylor Steele. Taylor Steele is a queer black NYC born and based writer, photographer, performer, and director currently writing with Buzzfeed and CNT Productions. Her work has lived URL on Huffington Post, Afropunk, and in real life at the Center at West Park, the Bowery Poetry Club, and more. To learn more, visit taylorsteele.info. Here is uh, Taylor Steele. Here, excuse me, here is Taylor Steele. Thank you. I was worried that that was going to be the long bio, but it's the short bio, and that's great. I hate hearing about myself. Um, so that was awesome. Uh, I think I'm just going to try to breeze through a few uh, kind of shorter poems um, that are relatively new, um, some of which uh, were written in the past few months. Um, so yeah, this set's pretty sad. <laughs> um, at least very much grounded in uh, a lot of themes that I think have been circulating in a lot of people's lives like loneliness and um, intimacy and things like that. Um, so this uh, first poem actually kind of started as a bit of a, a diary entry that turned into uh, a rant kind of to the universe and it's called What is Touch? My legs rubbed themselves raw Pock marks where there was once tension release blood now. My new body speaks to me in a language I only know in my dreams. Still, I say thank you as I rub jelly on my wounds. I am a decadent thing. I apologize for nothing. The world made me a woman and it will have to pay. My pits smell and I hope my ex smells them through the phone. I blast my AC and try to remember a sad song with a beat that fucks. I write instead. I erase the conversation I have to have with the poltergeist from my mind so I don't obsess. I rub jelly on my wounds. No one has loved my body in so long. It feels like maybe no one ever has. <laughs> what is touch anyway? A way to collect fingerprints? So, a body, a crime scene, a glass box protecting valuable art, or a wine glass, or a book being leafed through, or just the body. My heart gets jealous when I write about the body, but she knows what she has to do to curry favor with me. Yes, yeah, so that. Oh, it's so cool to see applause and not hear it. It's quite a surreal experience. Uh, so yeah, that was just a lot of bodily changes happening throughout throughout this time, and and that poem kind of sits in that space. Um, but something else that um, I've been thinking about a lot because what else is there to do but think now um is where i'm from and what what does it mean like i've always had a kind of um tenuous relationship with with belonging and where where do i fit in uh, so this poem uh deals with that and it's called i am without certain origin I wish to bite into red and feel its juices run down the in and out sides of my throat like a wave claiming the shore. To crash saying mine, mine. My mother is from an island I have only seen in the way she loves me. Warm, fierce, ageless, green. But it is not my island. I was born in the Bronx. This is just the fact I wish to confuse with feeling. I spent my childhood crafting mud pies and reading books alone while the wild streets hummed an anthem of color and fists I could never catch the melody of. I was born here, but I am not of it. 
When the night air got bitter from loose nostalgia, I moved. I live in Brooklyn on a street where everyone screams. The car alarms blare every day. The trash gets picked up by noisy men at two in the morning. This cacophony. I am of it, but I was not born here. All my dancing is awkward. Feet aching to root. Spine bending around the beat like opposed magnetic forces. I know this is all so tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that when I die, I have nowhere to be buried. Yes, thank you. Um, I feel like, tell me when 10 minutes is up because I was not watching the clock. I don't really know when we started. <laughs> Um, so this next poem, um, is about, <laughs> it's funny you're saying Thomas owes me a beer. This poem is about alcohol, um, and just indulgence, um, which I indulge in indulgence and that is part of this time period. Um, it's called Otto's Constant Dream, which is the name of a wine that I really like. We don't talk enough about the light at the end of a bottle. A shimmering daydream that flirts with death on my tongue. Manufactured joy. Temporary church. I am a wearied sinner. <laughs> I drink my own blood and say, this is the day that the board hath made. I search for love and fall asleep lost. I dream of bridges I am too scared to cross. Consider the climate, rising tides, my inability to swim, my broken oars. Consider maybe drowning is the simplest way to die. I believe love is an illusion, a reference I make and don't get to understand. No one reciprocates my aching. I live with my mouth open. This is the day the ignored have made. Water seeps through my teeth and I don't know where it came from. Love is an illusion at the bottom of a bottle, a pseudo tomorrow, a message delanguaged. No one asks me if I'm lonely. I go numb at the tongue first. This is the day that the sword has made. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, perfect, I have one more poem, this is great. Um, this is a very, to me, very literal poem, this next one and last one. Um, there was literally a day when I just saw ants on my windowsill. Um, and I was like, okay, I moved to this apartment, uh, in April. So it's, it's been a, it's been a time. Um, and I remember I went to one of my roommates and was like, oh, like, I obviously just moved here. I don't know things about this apartment. Are ants normal? here like do you get them at, like seasonally and they're like no so tell us if that happens again it's like oh, okay cool i will note that for the future uh so this last poem is called where are the ants coming from i ask if this is normal no i am asked if i've left anything sweet out and i don't know I come and bleed all over the place, but I am an avid cleaner. I scrub all trace of me away or suck it back in or ban desire for days at a time. My trash can is empty and the one cup I have out is filled with formaldehyde. Is that sweet? No? 
Perhaps it is all my candles and their wax, the sweat I don't clean from my yoga mat, the fading picture of me at three months old, unless those are less sweet and more decadent. The ants, they don't file in one by one like they do in my childhood memories. There's one here and one there. Let me know if this becomes a pattern. So I wait, I sit, watch, decay. I wait, I watch decay. So wait, sit, watch, and the ants will come again. Though I make no promises about how any of this will end. And that's it for me. Thank you all so much for being here and for your applause. I, even though I can't hear it, I know it is very present. Oh, thank you. All right, let's hear it for Taylor Steele. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely feeling the decay. Um, <laughs> um, again, sorry for the technical difficulties. Not of, a problem. Yeah, a, a few commercials. Before yes, the cake that I know is here. All, uh, all the commercials, uh, uh, um, we are still accepting poetry and prose submissions, so please submit them, prairieweathermedia.com. Uh, yeah, through them what date, Thomas? What date are we receiving them till? I was just saying till January 15th, David. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, um, uh, um, anyway, um, also next Wednesday uh, for the 10-minute feature, we have Mario Jose Pagan Morales here. Um, and then on December 27th, we've got an open mic. We've got Julie Benson and Ryan Binack featuring. That is it. Thank you all for being here. Taylor, would you like to leave us with a final thought, thing, anything? Leave us with something. Um, I am drinking hard kombucha and I really recommend it because it feels like a healthy way to get your booze on. <laughs> if one is a drinker. <laughs> Amazing way to end this evening, especially with all the snow that's coming down. So please get your booze on, but be healthy. Have a great, safe, and beautiful Wednesday. Thank you all.